Hey there folks in YouTube land, this is Crouching Python with a video on how to get your game to another level in Scratch. So basically I have made this kind of very kind of cheesy thing here. Uh, and I'm going to click the green flag. So it's just called Cheese Puffs in Space. You, ha you are the clam down here. You've got cheese puffs that you're trying to grab. And level two we're going to bring in an evil puff, okay? So that's kind of what's going on here. So when I click the green flag, I've got my splash screen here. And to start the game, I've got my little start button, which says get chomping. So basically, it's going to launch me, I think, onto the moon. And I'm going to try to catch the cheese puffs five times. If I get it five times, it's going to launch me into level two. So I have a variable called chomps, which I've already created, set to zero when the game begins. Every time I grab the cheese puffs, it's going to give me another chomp. When I get to five, it's going to automatically send me to level two, at which point the evil puff will show up. And I've made it so that if I get hit once by the evil puff, it's game over. I don't know. If, I mean, it's probably terrible in game theory, but it'll work for our purposes today. So anyway, here we go. We're going to start. We're going to get chomping. Going to the moon here, okay, there is it. So I've got one chomp, moving it around, two chomps, three chomps, and obviously it's a terrible game, but four chomps, I get one more, it should take me to the next level, boom, there I am. And there's the evil puff, okay, boom, he hit me, game over. Okay, so let's take a little minute there and look at how we set that up, okay? So first of all, everything that you've seen in level one, you already know how to do, I'm sure. So we're going to talk about how to get to level two. So I set up that here on the stage. I like to do a lot of my variable things on the stage. It's usually less cluttered. So I said when I receive start game, we're going to switch the background. We set chomps the variable to zero, and then I'm going to check forever if chomps equals five, okay? And I'm just going to kind of delete that and show you how I built it. Okay, so I need a forever if. All right, I need something equals something. That's an operator or math. So that's that middle one right there. I'm going to drop that in there. Now, chomps, this is a little tricky thing with Scratch. You can't just type in this little box right here. Easiest thing, if you go to where it says chomps, you grab one of these blocks right off there and you can drop it in there. And that's how Scratch knows what it is. And I'm going to say, okay, if it's five, we're going to broadcast a message, which we're going to call level two because that's what it is. Uh, so let's see, I've got one set up there. So that's going to broadcast level two. So that's kind of the background of how we set up the variable to work. Then, you know, we've already got over here on Clammy, every time he touches puffs, which is the I guess the good or neutral cheese puffs, we change chomps by one. And we wait a second so that it doesn't just keep going up while it's touching it. And you saw that working in the scoring. Okay. Then we said when I receive level two. Okay. So let's go back here. So I've said on my stage when I receive level two, we're going to switch to the background stars. Good enough. Okay. And then the evil puff will appear. So one thing you always want to do in a game is make your next level harder. Maybe you have more enemies, maybe they're faster, maybe you're slower, maybe you need to get a higher grade or score, maybe uh, you have a timer and you're running against the clock. Whatever you decide, but that should happen every time you go up a level. So here I've had this evil puff and I've kind of made him with this red bowl because I think that makes him look evil. I say when I receive level two, now he's been hidden because I said at the beginning, here, hide. When I receive level two, show up, and then I'm just making him kind of move and bounce around. So forever he's going to loop through this, turn five degrees, move 12 steps. If you're on the edge, bounce. So he's just going to kind of move around in a kind of crazy randomish pattern. Now I've told Clammy here when I receive level two. And now I'm not going to check to see if he's touching evil puff until we get to level two. So I'm going to say when I receive level two forever, if you're touching evil puff, 
boom, game over, just like that, okay? And we're going to set chomps back to zero. And the reason we're going to do that is if he gets hit right away and chomps is equal to five, we've already told the game that if chomps equals five, broadcast level two. So it's going to broadcast game over, go right back to level two. So I'm going to reset it to zero, so that will not happen, okay? And uh, then I've told the stage, when I receive game over, switch to the background game over screen, which I've made over here. Pretty simple, just says game over. It's pretty Spartan. And then I've told everybody else, get off the stage when you receive game over. So when I receive game over, hide, I'm telling Clammy that. When I receive came over, hi, telling Cheese Puffs that. Start button's already hidden, and I tell Evil Puff Guy when I receive game over, hide. So that's basically it. I've made a second level. We'll just play it one more time. We can see it happen. So I'm going to hit my green flag, which is going to broadcast splash screen. We show that. All of the things are hidden. Here's my start button, get chomping. When I do that, that's going to broadcast start game which is level one. I've got one chomp, and now I've got two, and now I'm going to have three, now I'm going to have four, and one more will get me there, and boom, it happened right away. So you will notice, though, that chomps is reset to zero right here. We did go to the game over screen. Now, maybe that's just a little too hard, a little too fast on that level. But you get the basics on how to set up that level. And you can make it easier. Maybe he gets so many hits um, and three hits, for instance, and then it's game over. But I hope you get the uh, how to do this. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them there in the comments. That's it for now, and thanks for everything.